Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel and this is your reading for November 2020. Remember these are um, just general readings and um, hopefully they will resonate with you. First of all I'd like to say a big thank you for the likes and subscribes and the views that I received last month. Also um, I will just do another, another quick plug of my diaries. Um, these two diaries are now available on Amazon. We've got the Spirit Messages Diary where at the beginning of every month there's a message um, which I've channeled and then there's just a plain um, diary so um, you know you can write your things in it. It's a little pocket sized diary. Okay, that's available on Amazon and then a gratitude one. Um, you open it up and you see that's like a little love heart pattern there to show you what you love and what you're grateful for and you write that in every month and again a plain diary for you to write bits in as you're going along for the year ahead they're 2021 diaries and they are available on amazon as we speak okay aries so i was asking what the month holds for you for november 2021 and i got the message fight or flight so um, that tells me you kind of happen to stick up for yourself. Um, if you don't stick up for yourself, then perhaps, um, you know, the flight part kind of says, you know, it uh, may not work out so well for you. Um, you know, could you end up having to leave something, change something? Um, so it's kind of fight or flight. So we'll see as the reading goes ahead. Um, if this resonates with you and makes sense. And the cards are going all over. Look at them. So, so far we've got the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles coming out there. Okay. So let's have a look at the page of wands to begin with. Now pages, they're often um, messages, um, sort of good news. So it does seem to me that something is coming for you. And look here, the Ace of Cups, you know, um, we know the Ace is the beginning. So you've got some sort of news, some sort of message, something coming for you. Um, a possible new beginning. Um, and I also think that this is your decision. This is your choice because look at you here standing on the path. So this is where the fight or flight comes in. Um, perhaps this is a decision where you're going to need to be a little bit brave, Aries. Um, you know, you're standing here and you've got this choice. You've got this decision to make, okay? Yes, you're going to be standing there and you're going to be looking and you're going to be worried about um, what you could be losing. Um, but you need to look at what you could be gaining as well. Now we've got the King of Swords here. Um, now kings and queens, obviously they represent people um, that can be around you. Um, swords, they can be... Um, Swords can do with conflict, that kind of thing. It could, this person could be giving you advice. It could be somebody that doesn't sort of take no messing with, you know, him there with the sword because, you know, that's the kind of um, authority that comes with the, the King of Swords there. So quite possibly you may need to take some advice. You may not necessarily like what you hear. It may be quite sort of strong advice, but this I feel is to do with your future. It's to do with your stability. It's to do with um, everything around you. you. know, we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Now that's showing that this decision that you're making, I, I do believe it is to do with your future, okay? And it's to do with your, um, you know, your wealth, um, your stability. Again, another ace. You've got two aces in here. This one can indicate worry and concern. Obviously, we've got that card here. And this card, the Four of Swords, is having a rest. Um, so 
the rest after worry you know there is a bit of worry here there is a bit of concern for you in november but i feel it's all just linked to do with this decision that you've got to make this possible offer that's come in here um you know it's one of those things sometimes people say oh something sounds too good to be true and it almost seems like that's the situation here you've got this offer you've got this opportunity coming in here but with it it brings decisions it brings um possible changes um but it also does bring the chance of things being more stable of money being better um so do you fight or flight okay aries Ooh, now you're a fire sign and normally you know you, you're quite confident person but obviously with the situation and the way everything is at the minute um you know you're perhaps going to be a little bit more cautious than what you normally would be but try not to worry too much um with this card here i think is telling you you need to rest um so you know whatever decisions or choices or opportunities come your way um feel free to take advice speak to people um you know don't just make the decision all on your own but obviously try not to worry and there we go the activist now i said that i feel that this is you that's got to make this decision you that's got to make this choice you know the opportunity is there but you're the one that's got to kind of pick it up and run with it and that is what the activist is the activist is someone who you know gets things going they make the changes okay aries so um you in the month of november are going to be the activist um you can either run from this or you can say right i'm fighting for this opportunity i'm fighting for this chance and i'm going for it so it's fight or flight for you in the month of november aries okay let's pick one more guide card for you sign from above okay so you will be guided um you know you can ask you can always ask for a sign um obviously you need to then pay attention to the signs that when they come in but i do feel that um you know the, cap, the fact that, that card's coming out sign from above um there may be something that stands out to you something that makes you stop and think twice about this situation something that makes you think there's more to this you know um that little sign will be there hopefully so you'll know exactly what situation we're talking about okay now let's have a look at these guide cards for you for the month of november 2020 and again i'm going to pick one for you judgment okay again i feel this goes down to you being the person making the judgment you being the one making the decision there's a big magnifying glass here look and there's people um, underneath it so it's it's you looking at this situation you making the decision you making the judgment okay aries so this is nothing that's going to be forced upon you this is something that you are going to um make the decision you are going to decide whether or not you're going to go for this so it's it's completely your free will your choice okay now i'm recording my videos somewhere different this month and i haven't brought with me my love and relationship cards so what i'm going to do is just shuffle these um guide cards and ask for <laughs> a card for love and relationships and already one has fell out but two fell out and you had steady progress and sweetness so I feel in your relationship areas, everything is going well, okay? You've got steady progress going on and you've got sweetness. So everything is good, okay? Which will probably give you a bit more confidence to go with this other situation. So you've got um, a good relationship there at the minute and good things going. So for those of you who are single, it looks like the possibility of steady progress, something nice coming in there for you. Okay, Aries, so there's your reading for November 2020. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can subscribe, hit the like bell, and um, I'll put the link below for the diaries if you're interested. Um, they are on sale on Amazon. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next month. Thank you.